Okay, my friends, this is Roger once again. This goes a little deeper than geology or gynecology or internal medicine. They're entering a cave system, which is literally biology. I have shown this over and over and over again. I'm just going to play this, and I'm pointing at this and that. These are layers of tissue. That is not accidental. They are entering, I believe, it could very well be a vaginal canal, or it could be some other form of digestive system entry. But as they go through here, you can see like places like this. That, whoops, that was a layer of tissue. You see this? Let me see if I can find a good spot to stop. It's, all right, you see that right there? That is a layer of tissue, and it has separated from the wall. And this is, I, I show this in much better detail later, I'm sure. Anyway, let's just get on with it. All right, these guys are doing fabulous research. Virtually nobody gets this far down, and they sent a robotic thing down through in the digestive system. That's the problem. Until academics will address this, places like Yosemite and all of these areas that are volatile from organic decomposition of feces, literally, it's the decomposition of biological matter that's festering, bubbling, methane, boiling, pow! Case closed. Volcano. Okay, when I talk about giant, I mean huge. This is human, and this is tiny. The fingertip is three feet long. That's where the bone goes, and this is where the blood supply feeds it. This is the actual fingernail, and I smashed this off on the edge, and it just followed the fingernail and came right off. It was the skin, and here is the skin, and there's the actual fingerprints from the skin. Actual fingerprints. This is where the fingernail made it up right there. I broke it off and your skin is just like this too. You have a tiny little piece and then you have your fingernail starts. And this is the way skin works. You see these little bumps and so forth? Did you see that in the vagina and things? This is the way layers of tissue work. I understand this implicitly and that was DNA certified as human mitochondria DNA. So was this. It's found in a very similar place. All this is on my property and this is a lung certified human DNA 100% mitochondria. You see how flat it is? All of these things appear to have been in the Great Flood. That is the fascia. I called it fascia facilitated fossilization when I first started. But I went to mud fossils because I found that the mud really was the preservative. The fascia just made it separate along, you know, like the fingertip. That's a fingertip. DNA certified, CAT scan, 100%, no question what it is. And, um, and being ignored for at least six years now since I've had all of the evidence. And Yale, Harvard, Johns Hopkins, I, just pick any of them. I've tried them all. I thought sooner or later I'd find somebody that had some speck of decency in them to, to look at this stuff. And now the earth is being destroyed because they cannot tolerate the fact that the earth is biological. I'm going to show you that and I can make it factually seen. Okay, I am a little lost in this video, but I do believe that I have shown that the inside of the earth is literally a digestive system of caves. You see all these little holes and pockets here? What do you think that's all about? Why aren't they up here? That is the lower intestine or the upper intestine. I'm not exactly, and it could maybe be, maybe it's something else, but I can tell you what, this is membrane looking, I'll show you exactly what it is. All right, here's what it says right here. Although the colon might not be very important in the digestive process, however important in the production of vitamins. The colon is very important. Uh, I went through this whole thing. Uh, does not have a digestive function from birth. All right, the, the newborn doesn't have a digestive system at birth. They develop it, and here's the stages of your digestive system. One is the esophagus. Two is in your stomach area. Three is your um, small intestine. You see these? And four is um, your rectum. All right, you see these different whole pockets? Underneath coming up this way, you're gonna see all these little holes and, and all kinds of little things. You can see all this in the, in the anatomy of the earth. And it gets way deeper than this. 
You see this? This is how intricate it gets in the earth. And when I'm talking about giants, these little things here, these islets of Langerhans and these things, you've got to have to have a very good microscope, which I have. I don't use it because I don't need to. I can see it with, there's a walk up, I could stand on them. I'm telling you, we missed everything. The earth is being killed and it's being killed by the people that are trying to suck everything out of it and destroy it and frack it and all this stuff. We're destroying our earth, absolutely destroying it. And once you break through the critical mucous membranes, which is, we, they, the earth has membranes. And I'm telling you, we're causing the destruction. And I, I think well, as, as we continue to kill more and more of the earth, it will continue to explode more and more. There are other, other issues at play here. We are scrubbing through the atmosphere of space, which is completely saturated with electrons, which are nothing more than back-to-back -back photons. I mean, electrons back-to-back -back are photons. We're scrubbing against them. It is forcing our Earth to crush and heating it. It's, it's not the global warming. It is global warming, but it's not because it's specifically carbon. It has nothing to do with that. It's because every time you burn something, it expands exponentially. Water, just water turning from H2O in a droplet going into H2O in a mist expands 1,600 times. When you boil water, that's why things explode when you boil them in a concealed container. We missed everything, and this is, this is serious stuff. And I'm telling you, in your body, too, if you don't have the right bacteria, you will not correct, you will not create the mucus because you don't have the bacteria. The mucus is, is sequestration. Sequestration means on one side, the mucus, good stuff. On the other side, bad stuff. That's all. You don't have the mucus, whoop. It's all one big free for all. You know, somebody could, here, hold on a second. I got something around here in my ear. Uh, here it is. Somebody get a hold of me. I can help with a lot of things. I really am. I'm not an idiot. I mean, I, I, I might sound like it and I might act like it, but I have stuff to offer. And I have to act like an idiot. What am I going to do? Just sit up and shut up, shut up? That's what people say. Oh, be nice. Everybody be nice. No, they're not. I've been doing this 10 years. Nobody's nice. Not a single one. Do I just offer? It's a hundred percent self-interest, and anybody that stands up knows that they're going to get beat up. That is the problem, and I'm telling you, it'll happen in your own house. Trust me, it happens in mine. It'll happen in yours too if you stand up against people that don't want to hear it, and they know most people don't want to hear it. So, good luck to you all. Okay, when I say giant, I'm talking about giant, giant, giant. That's all of North Africa, and that is a dragon. Guess what else? That's a dragon. This is dra dragon land, too. That's Romania, and that's up in, I don't know where that was, Scandinavia somewhere. But everybody that's been following me absolutely understands that is the dragon, North Africa. That is the dragon's throat cut right there. This, I believe, is Atlantis. Now, I'm trying to understand this 100%. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that the Eye of the Sahara is Atlantis, and they sailed their boats through, and there is a strait that they, I'm sure, controlled, coming in and out of the Libyan Sea. And then up here, there's the Romanian dragon. Yeah, that's the dragon scales. And they were all over the earth. And here it is up here, too. And if you see some of the ancient maps of these, like as Icelandia and places like this, oh, my God. It appears that these creatures that were God-ish hybrid creatures interbred with humanoid creation. I'm saying, I'm just telling you right now, this is what I'm feeling. I'm, I studied this. If you, you, you just have no clue. Everybody's so lost. What's happening in here, in, in um, all of these places where there's a lot of moisture and there's a lot of um, decomposition, then you get all kinds of acids and salts and decomposition. You get like spontaneous combustion. That's exactly all it is. That's what's happening all over the earth where we're, they're having this volcanism. And I, you know, <laughs> wait to see this. <laughs> if 
by the way, this is from my friend uh, Hillbilly Tarzan. Thank you, my good friend. This is, this is the dragon. You can see them. They're all over the earth. You can, you can dig down and see the scales on virtually all of them and make out the anatomy. But you got to put a little work into it. You can't just look, oh, you're an idiot and walk away. That's what's happened to me for 10 years almost now.